Now when we are looking at the drive options, I already discussed the mechanical drives in the intro and I talked a little bit more about the direct drive when I was talking about the pump. So the clutch drive off to my left there, we already covered that in the intro. And now I wanna talk about the motorized drives which are going to have a gearbox on them and you get the two different ratios available. Like I said, there's a 10 to one and a 60 to one. And then you can either have a floor mount like what our little demo system has or you can have a wall mount where it's the same piece of C-channel. It's a big piece of steel, but this very rugged piece of C-channel is what's used as the mounting base. So your floor mount base has the open part of the C facing downward and your wall mount <laughs> has the open part of the C facing to the back. But it's the same components that go on there. We add an L bracket for the gearbox when we do the floor mount, but on the wall mount, it's just bolted right onto the C-channel. And then there is a coupler to guard this Lovejoy coupling that connects it to the motor. We wanna make sure people's fingers aren't getting in there, so our safety team insisted on a very large coupler to keep that completely out of touch. And the thing about these gearboxes is, as far as the ratio, they're the same brand of gearbox. It's a purchased part. And when you just look at the front, you can't tell which ones they are. They both have the C-face on the, uh, the way we orient them, the top, so that you can't tell from this end which one is which either because they look the same. But on the bottom, there is a tag that has a part number that the 60 or the 10 are part of the part number, but then it also has a part on the tag that calls out what ratio it is. And if you have an older Lube Master, it might be a different brand because you know we change up suppliers when we have concerns about quality or we find a better price on something that is just as quality. So an older system may have a different brand gearbox or even the supplier may have changed where it is. But in this case, like look at this one, the tag is gonna be underneath here. So if you're replacing an old unit and you're not sure what the ratio is, you may just have to take it apart. But from there, these gearboxes, like I said, they have a C-face on it for a 56C motor. So even if you don't want to use one of our motors, that's an industry standard. It's a NEMA frame size. So NEMA 56C, we don't need the mounting feet. So just make sure your size 56 motor has the C-face and it will connect onto here. And you could even get a 24 volt on your own. You could get a get one of the explosion proof types of motors instead of using one of our motors that's how you make these things explosion proof because if you remove all the electronics we do have a, a low level switch that's explosion proof that you could combine with your own explosion proof motor make an explosion proof setup as well so that's the fun part about the modularity too is that you can order this whole system without a motor and just add your own motor so speaking of the motors like I said, there are just the two power types. There are all AC motors. There's a single phase and a three phase option. And then within each of those, you have the 1725 RPM or the 1140 RPM. And it's a big half horse motor that can run all day. So that pretty much covers drives and motors. If you order one of these separately, the manufacturer recommends that you actually stake the key into the keyway. I'm not gonna do that on this one. I'm just gonna put it in without the stake, or excuse me, without the key, which isn't the right way to do it. But the way these are made, they're supposed to just slide right together. And there is some anti-seize lubricant that you can put in. And I actually just did a bad thing there where I rocked it back and forth a little bit. That's a bad thing to do because you can actually damage the seal around the female coupler that receives the shaft from the motor. The, the seal inside of the gearbox, if you rock this back and forth too hard, the manufacturer says that you can actually damage your gearbox. And then the other thing when you're setting these up is you have to fill these with oil, but not all the way to the top. You're actually gonna pull out the breather here and you're gonna pull out the plug on the other side and you're gonna pour oil in where you'll need one of those funnels with the neck that curves or you can just put a fitting into here and pour into the fitting but once your oil starts to dribble out the other side, then you'll have enough oil and you can put the plug back in, make sure the breather goes in, and then you'll have some gear oil in your gearbox so that it doesn't burn up the first time you start it. So that's kind of a quick overview of the Lube Master pump. 
It's very versatile. The one limitation that I know of is that we don't have a vent valve for it at this time, so that means you can't use it with injectors. But for series progressive systems, it pumps out a lot of grease with a lot of pressure and it can run continuously. You can also use it for pump to point and it's just a really reliable pump. It's been around for decades, very much field proven and very versatile. So if you have questions about this pump or any other Graco product, please feel free to contact us. We are always happy to hear from you. Oh, hey, before you close the screen, don't forget to click subscribe so that way you'll be the first to know about new videos from Graco Lubrication Equipment Division. Thanks.